So today we're gonna to take a look at a completely free asset library. So I've got the web page open up here and it's actually called BlendSwap. And not a lot of people know about this asset library because it's more dedicated to Blender but really you can download a lot of these assets and import them into Maya. Maybe if you're creating an animation where you need to have a set, maybe your character is interacting with a certain prop. There's a lot of completely free assets on this library that you can download. And we'll just take a look at it here. So I believe you get a certain amount of completely free downloads per day. I'm not quite sure how many it actually is, um, but I've never actually ran into any issues um, downloading assets. You can also do like a $5 one-time payment. It allows you to get three added downloads per day. Again, I'm not sure how many you can get. I'm sure it's probably somewhere on this website. Um, you can also do $10 per month, which is unlimited downloads. But let's go ahead and actually take a look at this library. So let's go to the blends and we can go to categories. And you can see we have just a whole list of different categories that we can download. So let's take a look at furniture. So again, if you're working on an animation where maybe your character is sitting down in a chair, you can find a lot of really great chair assets in here. We have this chair right here. We have this whole entire Ninja Turtles kitchen set. Uh, again, these are all completely free that you can download and use in your own scene. And then you can also go up here to search and get a little bit more specific. So we can go in and type maybe like office chair and let this load up. And now you can see we have a bunch of different office chairs. This one right here you can see is a really great model that you could use for your scene here. And once you actually create an account, you can just download it. And because this is all dedicated to Blender, all these files are going to be Blender files. But if it's just geometry like this, you can always export it out as something like an FBX or an OBJ. So for this asset, I'll just go ahead and click download. And you can see it's downloaded here. So I'll go ahead and open up that Blender file. All right, so once we open up that file, you can see we have the office chair inside of Blender. Now, if you're animating in Blender, this is great. You can just work with this asset directly in Blender. But if you're working in a different 3D application, you can just download this Blender file and then grab all the geometry here and then go up to File, Export, and export it at whatever format you want. You can choose something like an OBJ or an FBX format to actually bring this into a different 3D application. So I find this website to be really helpful if you need any type of 3D assets for an animation or anything else that you're creating. And we can go ahead and open up this search and maybe we can find something like a living room and we can search this and we can see all the different user created assets here. So you can see searching for living room, we're gonna get a lot of different results. You can see this living room right here. You can see we get some of the more like isometric designs here, which are really cool. And we have a lot of different results that we can just grab straight from Blender and use these within our scene. We can go ahead and jump through some of these pages and see some of the other results that we get. And again, these are all completely free that you can download. Now, something else that we can do, which is really cool, is if we go up to blends and go to categories, and we can actually go to characters. And you can see there's a lot of different characters here. And if you wanted to, you could download these and maybe do some rigging for these characters. So we have something like this really cool cartoony type of dinosaur. And I'm not sure if this one's rigged. I don't believe it is, but it's something you could download that model and rig yourself. And there's also a lot of uh, free character blender rigs that you can find in here as well. And we can just search through some of these and just see the various different characters that we have here. We have this Judy Hops, and I believe this is a Blender character rig for this. Uh, so this is a really cool rig to download. Again, completely free. Here's another free uh, character rig. And we can also change how we're sorting this. So I believe we're doing newest first. We can do most downloaded, and usually these will be the sort of highest quality characters here just by the most downloaded. So we have this really cool Ranger character here. We have some FPS hands rigged, which would be for Blender. Um, we have the Nick Wilde from Zootopia. So this is a really cool character that you could download. And you can just scroll through here and see all the different completely free assets that you can use. We can jump to page one here, and then you can see we've got the Sintel, which is from a Blender short film that you can download that rig for, and just a lot of really cool characters. So I use this website all the time, especially if I need assets for an animation. Even if I'm not animating in Blender, I can just import them into Maya. And not a lot of people know about this unless you're actually using Blender. It's a bit more popular, obviously, on the Blender side, but this is something you can use really for any 3D application. And there's just hundreds of completely free models that you can use. So hopefully you found this video helpful and you'll be able to get some use out of this free asset library.